welcome to Cool Crafts at Home Edition. My name's Miss Jenna, and this week I'll be showing you how to make your own magazine wall art. For this project, you're going to need some old magazines to rip up, a shape that you want to use as your silhouette. This is going to help you make your design. You'll need some scissors, glue. You could also use hot glue or double-sided tape if you have it. I found a straw to be very helpful when I was making my rolls of magazines. And last but not least, you want something that you can put your shape on in the end. You could use paper. Here I used some foam to put it behind. You could put it on canvas or a board of wood or really anything that you want. The first thing you need to do is decide what shape you want to use, what shape you want to make. Remember, the more small details means the more cuts you have to make. So you don't want something with too, too many little details. Even this one might be hard. I think I'm going to go with my Mickey head again. So you have two choices. You can leave it like this. I just cut it a little closer. And then when we're going to glue on, we'll flip it over and glue all our pieces on here so that we have a tracer in the end and we can cut through both layers. Or you can cut it out ahead of time so you know exactly what kind of space you need to cover. And then you'll still have a line to cut it. The first one I cut it out first. This one I'm going to leave as a square. The next step is to get your pieces of magazine that you're going to use. When you're looking through your magazine, think about if you want any kind of a color scheme. For this, I wanted to kind of use a rainbow, so I made sure to find pages that had all, a lot of all the different colors. It also looks kind of cool if you use pages with a lot of text on it. So think about what kind of a color scheme you want to do. And then looking through your magazine, find a page that you might want to use. And all you have to do is you can rip it out or cut it if you want. Now this is a really big sheet. You don't need to use this much. Um, so instead, you can use your scissors to cut it down into smaller pieces. Now that I have my pieces cut, I'm going to start rolling. Remember, you want to probably start with your, if you have a bad edge, that way you don't see it. And the more of an angle you start on, the longer your piece is going to end up. So if you need some tall pieces, that's a good way to go. You can glue your pieces shut, or you can use a little piece of tape for a quick way to hold it. Now that I have all of my rolls made, I want to lay them out in the colors that I'm going to, in the order that I'm going to glue them down. So I think I'll go with another rainbow. That way I know what I'm grabbing for. Once I have them in an order I like, I'm going to get my picture ready. So I'm just going to cut the sides so I know exactly where I have to place. All right, now I have my general guidelines, so I'm going to flip this over and get ready to start gluing them on. So I'm going to make sure I put a lot of my glue because I want to make sure that it definitely, definitely sticks and I would just do a little bit at a time. 
So you can kind of press them down a little bit. Now up here I was a little short, so I think I might just see what happens and I can always try replacing that one a little bit later. So now that I have my shapes glued down or my rolls glued down, I wanna make sure I have more than enough time to let it dry so they're not peeling on and off as you're cutting. But once you're ready, you can flip it over and carefully start to cut out your shape. Now I felt that I, I lost one while I was cutting, so I'm just gonna put some glue on the roll itself to stick it in. And then I can cut that. I also lost one in the middle. That's right, you can just fix it. So as you can see, I have a little bit missing in mine. I could uh, fill in with some more rolls. And you just trim them down. If you're cutting in the middle of one, you might find that just like this, it's open. You can put some glue inside or even just a little piece of clear tape to catch the edge and kind of pinch it down and then fold that around the back. And that way, if you play it around with it enough, you can't really see much of that. I'll leave another one of those over here. Cut off this extra. And then I'm just gonna pin it down just enough that it sits and it looks like it's a completed roll. So here we have our Mickey Mouse head roll. I could take whatever kind of background I want. Here, I'll just use a black piece and glue it to here. This is just a basic way to kind of get started. Mine needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, but I'll show you. So in our completed one that came out a little bit nicer, um, I glued it onto this nice sparkly foam paper. If you keep watching, I'll show you some creative ways to play around with this type of project. Instead of making the shape, you can cut out the shape and fill in the background with the magazine pieces, play around with 
putting your pieces going in different directions so that they create a pattern. Um, and think about your silhouettes. You can do letters, shapes, everything, and I'll post a couple pictures like that uh, for you to get some ideas.